so the Lord began to whisper that what he is getting ready to do is that he says literally in moments he's getting ready to change your present circumstance. Anybody feel like God is going to change your present circumstance? See, y'all don't want to talk to me. Uh, uh, God has promised me a lot of things. And, and he promised me a lot of things in this year. Tell your neighbor, say, we ain't got too many days left. To God got to do everything he said he was going to do this year. Can somebody just give him a high praise for one minute? For all the hell that you've been through. That God is getting ready to break it open. So he led me to the book of Mark. Come on with me to Mark 10. Mark 10. Mark 10. We come to celebrate and God is going to take us back in him. Amen. I could cut a step already. (laughs) Thank you, Jesus. Mark 10. Because if we just let go and let God this week, He is going to do the miraculous. Mark 10, we're going to start at verse 46. Mark 10, verse 47 is where we're going to start. When you get it, say amen. And let us read. And they came to Jericho as he went out of Jericho. And with his disciples and a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway side begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. Tell your neighbor, I won't shut up. I look on the other side and tell him, say, I won't shut up. Uh, tell him, say, you're going to hear me holler loud tonight. Uh, I might shut on your pocketbook tonight. I might pull your tie tonight. Uh, because I heard that Jesus is coming by. Tell your neighbor, I won't be quiet tonight. And many charged him that he should hold his peace, but he cried the more a great deal. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, hallelujah, saying unto him, be of good comfort. Rise, he calleth thee. And he, casting away his garments, rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What unto him, what wilt thou that I should do unto thee? And the blind man said unto him, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith has made thee whole. And immediately, somebody say immediately. Tell your neighbor, it ain't going to take long. God going to do this thing immediately. Uh, look behind you and say immediately. Uh, in a moment, in a second, in the twinkling of an eye, God is going to rearrange some things in my life. He's going to place some things the way it should be. He's going to correct some things. Immediately, he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. Look at your neighbor and the would, if we would, the topic tonight would be, I will not be denied this time. Look at somebody else and say, I will not be denied this time. Come on, sit down in the presence of the Lord. I just want to deal with the text and the history so that when we get ready to celebrate, we understand what we are celebrating. Amen. Uh, God began to say, he says, I want you to deal with what the word denied means. The word denied means to be refused, uh, not to be recognized or to be acknowledged. When someone withholds your possessions or refuses to honor your request, we deal in the world, I don't know if you're going to be honest, but at some point in my life, I've been denied something that I know that I was entitled to. Uh, if you work on the work place you you know how it is you you've been toiling on that job for a while and and you've been there you've been faithful you've been coming on time and it should be your time for a promotion it should be your time for an increase Uh, you can do the job better than the person that's doing it and so it seems that it never comes your way you're always denied the very 
everything that God said would happen for you. Ah, oh, but somebody say, I'm so glad that God has not forgotten about me. When we deal with the word deny, that means that you're held up, you're blocked. Nothing can get in, nothing can get out. You can't see your way. You know that you're entitled to more, but it just seems like more can't get to you. Have you ever known that you're on the biggest break of your life, but it looks like it can't get to you? You know that God's given it to bless you with that new house, but it just seems like it can't get to you. You know that God's got properties you ain't ready for me, and money's stored up for you, but it looks like you just can't get to it. It looks like it won't come your way. It looks like it won't open up for you. Ah, oh, somebody say, I've been denied, but I feel something in the air that I won't be denied anymore. I will not let blessings pass me by anymore. I will not let opportunity pass me by. Oh, y'all don't want to help me. I will not let opportunity pass me by anymore. 